Hi, how you doing? I'm Reginald Laris. I'm a show production. For this art industry project, I'm going to be discussing how my industry relates to art, as far as lighting, and corporate AV, and houses of worship, and all types of AV work with lighting. I'm going to be showing various images of lighting and how it shows the reflection of art, especially displaying art and using AV to display art. And the person I will be interviewing is Mr. Mag Times. Well, the role of any visual art is to connect with the person that's looking at it, connect with the person that's involved in it. Um, you can use visual arts to engage someone, distract them, uh, entertain them. But particularly in my field, we use a lot of LED lighting for this, whether it's to uh, light a person on stage, light a piece of artwork that you wanted to admire. Uh, but we use the LED color blocks, color blazes, a lot of movers, uh, Mac 550s. These are all things that are used as tools to enhance the experience of the visual arts. The almost instant availability of imagery today is neither a positive nor a negative. It's a tool. And like any tool, um, it's neither inherently good or evil. It depends on what the user decides to use it for. I can use it to educate people or I can use it to shame someone. The popular images that I see frequently repeated throughout my industry are projector screens, as well as scenic sets like comic panels, pillow walls, acrylic panels. These are used uh, together with these projection sets to either put a gobo on there, to do some LED lighting, a type of wash on there, to make the scene pop a little more and to help engage the audience that's got to sit there for about eight hours a day and listen to how to increase their productivity. One of my favorite visual artists would have to be God, Jesus Christ. Look at Genesis, it says he created everything. How can you outcreate someone who created everything? The stars, the sea, the mountains, Grand Canyon. Uh, my favorite form of visual art would have to be nature. It's so, so free, so easy to look at, so simplistic yet so intricate because there are so many things to it that we are still learning and do not understand. How has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? To be honest with you, consciously, it hasn't. But I do understand subconsciously, we draw in everything that we're exposed to. And a lot of times we recreate that, especially as children, where it's caught and taught. So consciously, no, I'm not actively thinking about uh, imitating Chuck Close or Georgia O'Keeffe and their styles of paintings and artwork. But I am looking to create something that speaks to me and helps me engage with the viewer, help them feel and see what I want them to see and feel.